My name is Professor Fat Shady, and this is the University of Trials. In today's class entitled Let's Ride, we're going to be talking you through the new customization system where you can customize both the rider and the bikes. We're going to talk you through the new trick system, freestyle motocross, and wrap up with a brief discussion about the track challenges. Are you ready to go? Let's ride. At the top of the home screen, you'll see two options, ride and garage. The garage is where you'll be able to customize your rider and their ride. Let's check it out. At the beginning of the game, you'll only have the default rider gear and bikes. As you progress through the game, however, an increasingly large number of rider and bike customization options open up. As you can see with the biotech outfit, it's all locked. Let's unlock that. Now you can see that each part, helmet, top and bottom, have three varieties, each unlocking as you level up. Let's start by upgrading all of the parts of the suit. And while we're at it, let's change the color. It was only a couple of days ago I was speaking to Shifty Samurai, the trials community manager, about his favorite color. So let's change it in honor of him. Now that looks all right, but maybe we should change it to something a little more my style. Much better. Let's see how that looks on a track. And before we leave the garage, let's also have a look at the bike options. As with the rider outfits, each of these customization options unlock throughout the game. Once selected, you can also change the color of your bike and your wheels. I like these ones. The best thing about these customization options is that you can mix and match them to create the look that you want. And remember, when your friends watch your replays, they can see your gear. So make sure you look good. I don't know if you saw at the end there, but that squirrel helmet is what I'm going to be riding with. But now, let's get straight into the new trick system, Freestyle Motocross. Freestyle Motocross is one of the newest and coolest additions to the Trials franchise. When you start out, you're introduced to the Fox Bat. This bike's got reasonable top speed and acceleration, but tons of agility. You'll have no problems doing some awesome tricks with this bike. Welcome to the Sam Sora Industries Wind Tunnel. When you first start out, you're introduced to this wind tunnel. This is a safe and controlled environment where you can start practicing the freestyle motocross techniques without having to worry about crashing and restarting all the time. To understand freestyle motocross, you need to understand the controls. The left analog stick is still responsible for the bike's rotation, but the right analog stick has now been introduced to perform the freestyle motocross tricks. The easiest way to think about this is that the right analog stick is where you would like the rider's feet to go. For example, with the bike parallel to the ground, if you push hard to the left with the right analog stick, you'll perform a superman. If however, with the bike in the same position you press up with the right analog stick, you'll end up with a ruler. If however you change the position of the bike, for example flipping it upside down, all of the tricks that you've got access to have now changed. What you do with this newfound knowledge is completely up to you. But the trick is to try and not only combine multiple tricks within a single jump, but then to string a number of these jumps together to get the highest score possible. I think it's time for a bit of a challenge. My highest point score on a single jump in freestyle motocross was just over 11,000 points. If you've beaten it, let me know in the comments below and tell me what you did. But now, I want to get into one of my favorite features of Trials Fusion, track challenges. With each Trials track, you'll see an option labeled challenges. Selecting this will show you that each track has three challenges to complete, each with a unique XP value. Completing these objectives will gain you the specified experience points, which will allow you to unlock more customization options as you progress. To give you an example of how challenges work, let's use this example, full throttle number one. Perform a zero fault run without letting go of gas or using the brakes. This requires some skill and forces you to ride the track a little bit differently. What I really love about these challenges is that it gives you even more reason to replay the tracks and more importantly, to play them in a totally different way. As you can see, that challenge was crossed off the list and with a bit of practice, I was able to complete all three. What you've got to remember is that there are 120 of these challenges and it'll take you a while to get through them all. But don't worry, you're not going to be bored. Some of these challenges are absolutely insane and you're just going to have to see it to believe it. But trust me when I say this, you're going to have a lot of fun. Well sadly, that's all we've got time for, for Lesson 2. In Lesson 3, I'm going to be talking you through Supercross, the local multiplayer mode, give you some information about Track Central, the place where you can download and create just about any track you can possibly imagine, and finally, I'm going to give you some insights into the Trials community. See you then.